Hey, this is Brent Arnold, and today I want to show you how to create a uh, Android app using Flash Builder 4.5, and this time we're going to use the view-based application. So the first thing we'll do, here we are within Flash Builder 4.5, we're going to choose File and choose New, and then we want to choose Flex Mobile Project. And here we're going to give this a name, and I'm just going to call this Basic view app and go ahead and click next now of course this is kind of being cut off here there's just a few buttons back next cancel finish and you're not missing anything uh, we just want to target the Google Android for now and the application template is the view based application now it gives us this initial view title we can change this so this is kind of the root view or the the main, the first view that's shown in the app. Uh, I want to go ahead and rename this. I want to call this user list. And in a minute, uh, we'll talk about what we're going to put there. For now, look at the application settings. We're going to go ahead and keep automatically reorient. We want to keep full screen and go ahead and check automatically scale application for different screen densities. I'll cover this in another tutorial, but the idea is that this will adapt to different screen resolutions so that the visual layout and components are the same size across different devices. Okay, for permissions, we don't have to worry about anything. We have internet set up right now, and that's about all we need at the moment. Platform settings, there are none for the Android setup. And go ahead and choose Finish. It's that button down here. You probably can't see it, but trust me, it's there. All right, now, let's take a look at what happened. Flash Builder has just given us, uh, it's created the package, it created this views folder, and it created the uh, user list view that we mentioned. So, and also take a gander, like that, take a gander over here, and notice what file we have open. We have the basic view app user list view dot mxml file. Now, notice we are not in the basic view app.mxml. This is something to note. When we have a view navigator application, we do not add children to the view navigator application tag within there. The only thing we do is we reference the views uh, and the first view right here. So go ahead. I'm just going to press return just to kind of show you this so that you can see everything on the screen. Notice it says first view equals views dot basic view app user list view. Well, it's pointing to this one that's over here in this folder and the one that was opened. This is where we add our content. Now we can add multiple views and we're going to do that in a second, but I just want you to notice how we do not add child components to the view navigator application. So just keep that in mind. Uh, in fact, if you click on the design view, we'll see what it looks like here. We have uh, this top is called an action bar, and then it says placeholder view, um, and we don't place components here. Let's go back, click source, uh, and go ahead and click the basic view app user list view. All right, the thing we want to create is a very simple app that has three different views and it's going to be a list and we're going to call it the cool people list. Now, cool people to me may not be cool people to you, but uh, the joy of the internet is that you can do whatever you want and nobody's going to care. So I won't judge you if you don't have the same cool people. That's okay. Point is, the first thing we need to do is add a couple of more views. This view will have our list of cool people. Then let's create another view. So go over here and right click on views, click new, and choose MXML component. Now it's going to open the dialog and notice that it's in the views package and it is based on the view component. Now we want to call this Let's see, we're going to call this the user profile. And so this will be called user profile. 
and go ahead and choose finish and from the list we're going to then go to the user profile now let's add one more and we're going to choose view choose views and then click new and choose mxml component and this one we're going to call user notes and so go ahead and click finish now you can of course you can name these you know user notes view user profile view in fact I should have done that huh now that I think about it maybe I should think before I do these tutorials I don't know anyway you get the idea so these are the views that we're going to use so at this point uh, let's go ahead and we've got our three views right here and three views of a secret do you know that song <laughs> that's a cool song three views of a secret anyway um, if anybody can name the artist who recorded three views of a secret or wrote it I'll give you bonus points okay notice here that uh, within these views we can add content the next video tutorial I'm going to show you the content that will add to the user list view so right now keep in mind that we have our basic view app and the first view it goes to is the app, uh, the user list view so in the next tutorial we will add our list and talk about navigating within a view based app